Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hioka empath. I just like having these little talks on the way I feel about things. I'm doing my talk pre-recorded today and earlier in the day. It's just a little after 6 a.m. in New Mexico, way up north. I always end up in the armpit. <laughs> So I want to do a talk today early because the 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 later the the position the, the the positions are in the planets are not favorable in my chart. So I think it's just best that I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna do this, put this out there, and then I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of the day. I gotta take Artie to the vet this morning, get his get his blood work done, make see if his liver's gotten any better, and if not, whatever that entails, we'll find out. It's out of my hands. I try not to have expectations on anything, man. I, I got no I got no hand in any outcome of anything. I try not to have any expectations. It's just not easy to do. So uh it's been an interesting time here this <laughs> it's always something. Um it's always something. Something I wanted to talk about that I haven't really talked about ever on my videos. Um I've mentioned it here and there on my earlier ones, but I, I've done this for six years, and and they don't, they they don't keep playlists to every freaking video you ever make. Stuff drops off, you know. So I like to bring revisit stuff and bring it back around again. And and um, what I want to talk about is life struggles and sometimes <laughs> how hard it is to get through, you know, and and and. and um, we're coming to do a real difficult period. I know a lot of people have had a lot of difficulties the last couple years, few years. Life has been pretty hard for me for like the last six. Um, well, I see it. It's all. The, it's it's all. It's all. It's all to get us to do the same thing, and that's to, to find a power outside ourselves, a source greater than ourselves, to help us through trials and tribulations, and think. Thank goodness I, I, I found mine. And um, I don't know what I would do without my higher power. I call my higher power God, good lordly direction. God has sustained me in my life, my uh, my whole entire life. I've had a very difficult life. Uh, it's not a storybook life at all. It's a horror storybook. I don't even got to watch horror movies because that was my life growing up. Uh, and... Um, I was talking to somebody yesterday and I was like, you know what? Life has always been hard for me. When I was a little girl and things would happen, I knew in my mind and in my heart that this is the stuff that when you get older, they're going to tell you, you just got to get over. So I got over it then. Um... I've seen so much grossness and ugliness of, of, of what people do to other people and have been firsthand result of, of monstrosities, of actual fucking real life verifiable monstrosities. Like monsters do this shit. Okay? And, um... <laughs> well, what it comes down to is I haven't always wanted to live on this planet. I haven't always wanted to be here. It's uh, as a sensitive, energetic being with a very strong personality, it causes problems. So, uh, I've never been the suicidal sort. That's not my vibe. I will just bear through it. I will suffer. I'll do whatever I need to do. And then at the end... You know, at least I didn't take my own life. Because um, a lot of people do, and I don't want to come back and, and do this shit again. <laughs> so it's just going to keep me here as long as I need to be to, f to do what I'm supposed to do and then move on to the next level. Um That's, that's kind of, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to admit, you know, I want to be a joyful person. 
I want to peep. I want to be a good example to people, and I haven't always been that. And uh, I don't always make the right choices. I don't always make the right decisions. I do know wrong from right. And uh, when I do wrong, I, I I make a point to make it right. And I just keep seeing how things are going. And the direction, and, 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 and it just doesn't look fun, you know. And people keep saying, you know, you, 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 you create your own reality, you know. <laughs> and there is some truth to that. There is some truth to that. Um, there are so many things that we are powerless in this life. You know, the circumstances... I mean, I, 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 all I want to do is have, like, freaking close connections with other human beings, and I have very, I don't, and it's not from lack of effort. It's just, I'm a different frequency, and people don't see me. It doesn't take the pain away. It doesn't make it hurt any less. It just, just gives me more stuff to accept. Uh... I remember the first time I wanted to die. Like, I'm like, I don't want to live on this planet, man. This I don't want to do none of this. None of this is fun. I was seven years old. I was seven years old. And, uh, I had the chicken pox. I was, I was like six or seven, six, yeah, seven. I had the chicken pox, and we lived in a place called Redding, California, way up north in uh, the armpit of California. We were poor. We were so poor. We just moved into this place, and Mom didn't have any money. And it had a swamp cooler, but we, we didn't have any money to pay for, uh, to use it. So what she would do is, like, for, like, the hottest part of the day in the afternoon, she'd turn it on for a couple hours. And I, I had pox all over me and they said don't don't itch don't itch cuz it'll don't scratch it cuz you'll you'll get scars i scratched one here i got one right there <laughs> and i was i was the trauma kid you know and so i i, I just want i don't want to get in trouble ever so i wouldn't scratch so i just lay there and just want and just vibrate cuz everything itched and they said, don't do it. And I thought, you know, don't do it. If I do it, I'm going to get in trouble. So I lay there. And then I about come out of my mind from not being able to scratch. And uh, my, I, I, my, my own solution was, seven-year-old kid, is I would fill up the bathtub with cold water. And I would just lay in it and float. And it would stop the itching. Nobody told me to do that. I did it all by myself. I've been looking for solutions my whole life of how to make life more comfortable in uncomfortable situations. I'm getting real good at it. That summer in Reading, <laughs> we had temperatures recorded of 117 degrees on top of my fever. <laughs> so, um, adapting and overcoming, it's kind of what I'm conditioned to do. I'm just getting at a place in my life that I'm really, 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 really getting just weary I'm just getting so tired of trying to get to where I want to be instead of just being where I want to be and I act like I'm here you know I, I can I can lie to myself all that's what people do man they lie to themselves all freaking day long oh this is great this is wonderful it's wonderful that I have no relationships it's wonderful that I have no friends in real life it's wonderful that I live next to a freaking crackhead junkie who fucking is a hoarder scumbag who treats everybody like shit because he's has a little penis you know, I mean, it's one, I mean, people do this stuff. All, it's wonderful the way he's going, you know, the cracks of society are getting wider, you know, 
and and people's ambitions are becoming less and less but their desires grow more and more which is kind of what i want to talk about this video today is is desires <sighs> desires versus uh what did i say desire versus ambition ambition that inner drive it, it comes from the, a heart space place of, 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 of doing the right thing, of coming forward and presenting the best version of yourself and showing up in the world. What can I do to make things better? To me, that's ambition. And desire is wants. It's that lower sacral shock, chakra shit that freaking causes people to chase sensations and freaking find places to put it and turns women into penis pockets and and dudes into freaking just you know more people looking for a place to put it you know it's getting seedy and gross with people's desires they get it twisted that's life force kundalini energy you could use it to heal and people use it for manipulation and all sorts of seedy shit we're coming to the collective wave of bullshit it's already begun How bad's it gonna get? Tess says it's been a collective wave of bullshit for four years in freaking Connecticut, you know? I got reports from people in Massachusetts, it's pretty shitty, but you still got these people living that best version of life. They're just, they got these, these, these like little pink glasses on, you know, that if they just focus on their own immediate, immediate proximity, if you just focus on this and just, just do everything you can to make your life comfortable and to give you that false sense of security and to keep all the bad stuff out, it has adverse effects. Life is all about experience. We're supposed to have, where our spiritual beings come to this incarnation to have a human experience. People forget they have a spirit and they just have human experience and that's it. There's consequences of that. There's consequences to everything. Huh, Artie Pants. He said, Ma, that's true, Mom. He's that's a good boy. Artie's going to the bed. He's my old man. Oh, good boy. He said, Ma, they're making their beers, Mom. I love you, Artie Pants. Good boy. Ugh. Put me right down, Ma. That's the weirdest you've ever been, Ma. Oh, my little old man. My little old man. So, it's cancer season. I'm going to stay within. I'll check in every now and again, but I, I'm, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of videos <laughs> this cancer season. I got stuff to figure out. I got to decide what I want to do and the direction of... You know, I mean, I could put stuff out there, but if it ain't in, in, in alignment with what my higher good is and what, what God wants me to do, it ain't going to happen. And, and, and I definitely have learned that in the last freaking six years that there's, you know, if I can get my life, life path in congruence with what God wants me to do, good orderly direction, things are going to be a lot easier. And I think I get closer, you know, I think, I think I'm obedient enough. I think, I think I'm dedicated. I think I'm loyal. I think, you know. And then something happens and just to remind me that ain't nothing 100% on this life, yeah? But, uh, what else? So funny. I hope the power doesn't go out. I heard today or a couple days ago, I asked the neighbor, I was like, does the power go out a lot out here? Because we had it happen three days in a row. It's like, no, no, this is really weird. This is really abnormal. I asked somebody else. They're like, it happens all the time because of fucking bee beavers and, and groundhogs. They chew on the wires because we're like the last, we're like, what are the, they, because, oh, just because. Just because people have really great ideas of how things should be and then they implement them, they're not a good ideas. But because they, they are sitting in the chairs that they sit, and they have been appointed and given authority <laughs> of some kind, whatever that is. <laughs> they decided that, you know, 
Let's do it like this. And they don't got good ideas because they haven't. How do people that have never fucking struggled in life, that have gone through, that lived in the same place, gone through the same school, have like, you know, never had nothing scary, you know, boo happen. And then you, you're going to pro solve problems for the general population? Is that how it's supposed to go down? Really? Got all these freaking people in D.C. and stuff. They make freaking over $200,000. I mean, it's freaking ridiculous. They're the resource hogs. But they think there's people at the bottom that aren't worth nothing. Because they're not worth nothing. It's so funny how people tell us how they are. I tell people how I am every day in my videos. Maybe that's why people don't want to have nothing to do with me. I'm too honest for the liar. Because <laughs> eh. very few people watch my videos that like me. It's not, it's not, it's, I mean, there's like three, four or five people that want, but there's, no. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like a spectator support. I'm just like, what's going to happen next? Is she going to snack? I think, I think people are just waiting to see if I'm going to snap. I'm waiting to see if I'm going to snap. Really? I haven't yet. 49, going to be 50 next year. So, anyway, I think that's about all I got. I don't really have a whole lot to say. I just wanted to talk about desires versus ambition and I you know that's what we were everybody was given a chance the last three years you know that's that that's what happened to me six years ago it's like okay first you got the world out there and I'm living out here for for this world right I'm doing whatever I can to be a part of this world but my insides were dying because everything about that was contradicted to what my beliefs inside but people programmed me and told me my whole life you got to go to college you got to do so I did all these things to do you know fit in the box so that people would pick up the box and maybe carry me around in their lives with them and you know, people that ask people to do things like you should do this and you should do that. The rule when I was little, like on playground, they were like the Nelly Olsons and they're dude Nelly Olsons too. It's a character on, on, on uh, little house on the prairie a show watched when I was a little kid and they're just the bot. No, do this, do that. My brother's one of those people. It's just like, you got to act this way in order for me to be your brother. You got to act this way in order for me to care about you. It's, it's like, it's, it's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do I call it? Exchangeable relations. Well, where uh, I can't remember the word right now. I've talked about it in other videos. But it's like, in order for me to be in your life, you have to be this. So that's people trying to change me. They're not accepting me for who I am and caring about me. And it's always contingencies. It's always like, Marge, you're to this. Marge, you're to that. If you were less this, then then people would embrace you, you know. And and, and, and all, I found all that stuff to be untrue. And... Uh, People that change the rules, you know, that are always asking me to modify behavior and, you know, like my brother, you know, and act this way and act that way, they never change theirs. They never do anything. They act the they they want me to change, but they act the same, you know, and, and they want me to accept and be okay with whatever shit behavior and fucking crumbs they throw at me. And, and I deserve better than that, you know. So I stopped, I stopped playing with people years ago. As soon as I find, when I hear how they're changing the rules, how they want to modify and oh, and, and oh, any of that, I'm out. I'm out. I'm good with being alone. I don't like it. I, I prefer that life were different. It don't matter. I'm good. I'm good. I'll be all right. I might have bad days, but I'll have good days too. You know? I'd rather be alone than have people in my world that, I don't know, I'm some kind of space filler or some shit. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try. I try. But. You can learn a lot. You can, you can, you can, like, I could learn a lot about people from finding out how they were, 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 were when they were a kid. 
and then how they are now. And then I can tell, are they growing more in ego or more in spirit? Everybody I see on the planet, I could tell, are they growing more in ego and spirit? You know, if they're an ego, we ain't on the same page. I don't, you know, you don't see me. I don't see you. You know, you ain't going to give your shit away. I am. We, we ain't going to do the same things. We're not the same. Right? When I see other people like me, I get real excited. <sighs> For a while. Uh, anyway. Yeah, the people that just like to change the rules all the time. You know? You know the type. Do this. No, do it like this. No, do it like... How about you fucking do it? You know? They just want to make people dance because it, it's all about power and control. And and uh, it's just taken me a lot of years, see, because that's how I give up my power. And that I learned that from him. I learned so many life lessons from just having two jerks in my life, you know. The men, the men in my life, my brother and my dad, they were fucking so mean to me, man. And people, yeah, sure, more sure, me. Oh, really? Okay, I'm at a family reunion, 12 years old. 13 years old, you know, I'm overweight, I got big boobs, you know, I'm not comfortable, I don't, you know, even being a female, you know, it's, you know, and then my, you know, we're at a family reunion in LA with all these people that I don't know and stuff, and my dad was just always the funny guy, and so he fucking push, pushed me into a swimming pool, I was just standing there, and he's like, Bruh! pushes me into the fucking, sw I had, I had like, I had like white pants on and like, I mean, all see-through stuff. I mean, it was like, and then I can't get upset because then I'm a bad sport because then they tell me how selfish I'm being and I, I'm, I'm ruining everything else for everybody else, you know? And But you know what I got out of that experience? It hurt my feelings. And you know what I, 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 I don't do? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get laughs at other people's expenses. No, I don't. I'm not going to make somebody else feel smaller so that I can feel bigger. So those are the things that I learned from my dad. What'd you learn from yours? You know, I learned how to like steak sandwich, steak, steaks. Cause you know. That's what I got for my birthday from the time I was nine. We'd go to dinner and not talk, and he'd buy me a steak or a burger. So, um, more stuff to get past, man. This is not, this is the stuff. All, everybody has this stuff. I just recognize things for how they are. <sighs> Try to move past it. So, oh, scumbag's out. <laughs> <laughs> he must be getting ready to put himself down for the day. Dude's like a fucking vampire, man. He sucks the life out of everything and everyone around him. I feel bad for his mom. She's about ready to do a victim, so that's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's what fucking that's what drugs and alcohol do, man. They take they take who you once loved, that little baby boy, you know, that that you know, that, that was so happy that Christmas morning he got his bite, you know, and then it turns him fast forward 30 years to the, just a vile, disgusting, low-life scumbag that is just a parasite that's a total suck, a total negative. Take, 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 take. And people, the society is full of it. Society, and it's it, it does it does it, it, he's just an example you know it don't matter that 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 vibrational frequency don't I mean it, it's men it's women it doesn't matter the color of your skin it doesn't matter who you want to hump it doesn't matter none of that shit there's just so many people in this planet that they're out there for themselves and they're gonna get it but that don't do much for other people I gotta get mom up and get her into the her, her, her fur and then she gets up goes to the bathroom and then she'll go lay back down for a little while so it's gonna be fun this morning they're not gonna get breakfast on regular time and I gotta take Artie up to the vet in a few hours and oh lordy lordy 
it's supposed to be freaking to the potentials of today's energy. I'm just like, okay, okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Because I don't know how anything's, I just see how potentials of things are going to go. I don't land on any outcomes. I don't like to create that. I don't like, that's not, that's bad judo to me, you know, so I just wait and see, but we'll see. Anyway, that's about all I got for now. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.